I'm glad to say that the, the, the facility here has gone from strength to strength. Um, some of the key attributes that have made it a success to date is, is that it's the only data centre in Ireland that is uh, Uptime Institute Tier 3 certified, both in its design and in its construction. Uh, it also has been an awarded a BREAM Certificate of Excellence, and what that does is it reflects all the materials we've used in the building and construction of this data centre to make it as economically, uh, sorry, environmentally friendly as possible. Um, the other most important attribute about the, the site here is that we're using free air cooling effectively to cool the, the air temperature in the data hall. And what that is delivering to our end users and our customers is a significant saving of about 30 to 40 percent over traditional data centres when it comes to cooling their equipment. We now have a PUE design of 1.15 for this um, building. And what that means to our customers is a saving of 30 to 40 percent over traditional data centres that use mechanical refrigeration. It's also very important to stress that um, launching your digital assets in this facility here in Dublin gives you access to a European market of over 500 million people and also gives you that connectivity to the US. The most continuous trend and biggest trend obviously is that organisations are migrating into the cloud at a phenomenal rate. Uh, we're seeing that through the deployment of the mega scale cloud provider solutions across our data, data center footprint globally. We now house the top five global cloud providers in the world. And as such, that gives a degree of comfort to our customers who want to locate in the data centers um, across our footprint globally, etc. We have a very strong interconnect product. We have a very strong digital ecosystem which allows them to connect upstream into their cloud provider of choice whilst at the same time maintain a certain degree of autonomy with their own IT infrastructure. So why is it a good place to invest? Well obviously we've got a very ambient temperature and I know people have, have uh, talked about this to an extreme, but it does contribute to the running cost of a data centre, it makes it very efficient and very economical. The second thing that works really well for us at the moment is we have an abundance of uh, renewable energy and we have commitment to having 40% of our grid being on renewables by 2020. Um, for Digital Realty, we were fortunate enough to buy a 10-acre campus site here in Dublin at Profile Park. Uh, we have planning permission for four buildings. We've constructed one building already, and therefore I'm delighted to say that the uh, economic conditions are ripe for expansion. And on that um, aspect of expansion, I'm also delighted to say that we have now commenced fitting out our second data hall here at Profile Park. So we're fitting out a 10,000 square foot independent data hall stroke independent data center right here at Profile Park. Uh, another interesting aspect to the design features and why this is such a good site for further data center expansion in Ireland for digital realty is that we have a campus-like network. And that allows us to build data center halls to cope with the ever-increasing demand in storage and processing power. So for example, today our data hall that goes live in, in February will house 500 cabinets, each supporting a four kilowatt per cabinet density. But our next building could house a data hall with 10,000 square feet, 500 cabinets, with six kilowatt per cabinet density. So we're building up the processing power, the engine room capacity to cater for the ever increasing explosion in data analytics and data processing. Uh, digital Realty is, is committed to 100% renewable energy uh, sources at its data centers globally. I'm glad to say here in Dublin we are using 100% renewable sources for our, for our energy. Uh, in addition, I'd also like to, to, to announce today that we have just been awarded the ISO 50001 standard for our data centre facilities across UK and Ireland, including this facility at Profile Park. And what that means for our end customers is, is that they know we are managing our energy usage as efficiently as possible. We set standards in terms of energy improvement on a year-by-year -year basis and we measure those goals and objectives and we report back to our customer base on our energy efficiency program. So two aspects I'd like to cover off on the, the, the data tsunami. Uh, the first one is everybody's talking about the Internet of Things and today we have, it's estimated, about 10 billion devices that communicate uh, to each other uh, through the Internet of Things model. And that's expected to move to about 36 billion by 2020. So with that is going to come a huge explosion of data and how to deal with that data, how to manage the data, how to store the data. And it's going to have a huge impact on data center strategy, etc. So we see three, three models of data centers evolving in, in this arena. 
there will be the local data center for the collection of the real-time data from the Internet of Thing devices. So that could be the smart cars, the driverless cars, the drones, etc. And they will require real-time, time-sensitive, mission-critical information processing. Then that information over the course of the day will be fed up into regional data centers or larger data centers at a central location for long-term, medium-term data crunching analysis of what that data means for the Internet of Things. So the second thing we have done as a company is we've created a digital portal to help educate and inform the IT community about the developments that are happening around Internet of Things, around cloud provision, around technologies, around processing power, etc. And really it's a move from data to digital center strategy. And our, our portal is called Digital Center 2020. And on that site, you will find real-time case studies about what's happening around the world with Internet of Things, with robotics, with big data, analytics, cloud provisioning, etc. And I'd recommend that people go to Digital Center 2020, sign up, and get informed. <laughs>